Today, guys, we're going to go over high compression, high compression engine and spark plug gap. You're probably thinking to yourself, man, this guy's an idiot. But it's something that commonly gets overlooked. And indeed, I might have overlooked it myself putting this together in a hurry. The last couple of videos I've had is all carburetor tuning videos. And uh, a lot of carb guys, they get so involved with the carburetor, it stumbles or hesitates, it's, they automatically go to tinker and carburetor. And uh, a lot of guys forget that you can uh, kind of tune your ignition system in a similar way as your carburetor. But while I'm sitting here jacking my jaws, I'm going to get my little brother to pull a plug out of here. And we're going to see what I get these at. I'm kind of sure I just pulled them out of the box. But with a high compression engine, you generally got to close your spark plug gaps. You know, 10 to 1, 10 to half, 11 to 1. Because as your cylinder pressure increases, it's kind of like adding boost. Everybody knows if you add boost, you want to close your spark plug gap. Well, that's because you're adding cylinder pressure. And as you add compression, it's kind of the same thing. You're adding cylinder pressure, so you want to close your spark plug gaps. Depending on what fuel you're running, it's usually anywhere from 20 thousandths to 35 thousandths. This engine here, I'm running right at 10 and a half to 1. So I should have got these plugs at about 35 thousandths. Because anywhere from 10, 10 to 1 compression, 11 to 1, I usually do 35 thousandths. And, you know, when you get up to 12 to 1, When you get up to 12 to 1 and uh, 13 to 1, you want to close that gap some. You want to kind of close it down to about 30 thousandths. And if you're running different fuels, you can go all the way down to 20 thousandths to actually get what you need. But it looks like these spark plugs, I didn't gap them. It looks like they're about 40, 44 thousandths. So we're going to pull all these out. And gap them down to about 35 and then uh, we're gonna fire this thing up and we may even go drive it but closing this gap should help with your throttle response for sure it could uh, also help with your overall performance and probably your fuel mileage too which when you're doing these kind of things you really don't care about fuel mileage as you guys can see here, the color of these plugs, all that tuning we've done on that carburetor has helped. These, these plugs ain't crispy black. They're the nice, nice warm brown color like they should be. So we definitely got our tuning on our carburetor fixed up right. So I think our next issue is with these gaps and the compression ratio that we're running on this engine. A lot of guys make the mistake of you know, thinking that, well, I got a electronic ignition. You know, I got a HEI. My gaps on my spark plugs really don't matter. And and you got the guy that has his MSD with his flamethrower 5000 that he thinks it'll shoot a spark from here to the gods themselves. But this applies for them guys too. Just because you got a super hot ignition system. You still need to close these gaps as your compression raises. You know, a lot of guys do stuff in their garage. They'll order a set of heads with smaller combustion chambers and they'll put it together in their garage and then they start having issues. And it just, it just snowballs. Because a lot of guys just don't know that it's something that you need to do as your compression goes up. And I've even seen guys go as far as thinking it's the carburetor and just getting fed up with it, throwing the carburetor in the trash and going to the 
you know, FI Tech or the Sniper EFI because they just can't get it. And then, you know, with that stuff, it's, it's smart enough to compensate for it. And you think, oh, man, it runs worlds better. But if you would have just took the time to get it all right with the carburetor, the carburetor would have ran just as good, if not better, than something like that. At least the carburetor is kind of a, its own standalone deal. You ain't got to worry about sensors and O2s going bad and this, that, and the other. Because I've heard a lot of that. It seems like a lot of the sensors that are on there are straight out of China. So me and myself, I would definitely rather have carburetor. But it just takes more time of tinkering. You got to tune your carburetor, tune your ignition system. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, let it warm up a little bit. And we're going to see if we had a slight little stumble that I couldn't get rid of by adjusting the carburetor. And I think it was in those spark plug gaps. I think it was just too much cylinder pressure, maybe blowing the spark. Now we got these spark plug gaps changed. We're going to fire it up. Go ahead and fire it up. Let's see if our throttle response is any better. Already sounds much better. Throttle response alone, it already seems a lot better. Then we're gonna go drive it, see if we can feel any difference. <laughs> 